Welcome to the season finale of The Curious Cook. We have a very, very special guest, Rafael Miranda. He is the weatherman for NBC, and we are so honored and excited to have him here on the show today. We are going to be making blackberry prosecco and dirty monkey parfait. This is delicious, exciting, and a very unique recipe. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is muddle the blackberries. Squish them up nice and good. There we go, we're getting nice and juicy here. Getting into a kind of a blackberry paste. Add the creme de cassis. Mix it in, I'm gonna add a splash of lime. All right, and I'm gonna make a little bit of lime rind here. Just a pinch. tap, mix it up. I'm going to pour that into the bottom of this cocktail glass. Pour in the berry mixture. And top it off with your Prosecco. And there we have our blackberry proseccos. Let's hope that this is the first time Raphael will have ever tasted this cocktail. Now, if you want, you can do a frozen version. You make it the exact same way, put it in the freezer. After about two hours, you can stick your little popsicle stick in, let it freeze overnight, and voila. Let's start making our dirty monkey parfait. I feel excited just saying that. Three graham crackers. Get them really crumbly. This is where you really get your hands in there. You know that you really made this from scratch. Okay, there we go. Add the sugar. Add in your butter. And we're going to simmer it. Just gonna heat it up, stir it around. Gonna saute this till it gets a little bit golden brown and crispy. Ah, oh, smells warm and yummy. All right, I'm gonna take that off the stove and work on our next layer. All right, in a bowl, we're going to add confectioner's sugar because why have regular sugar when you can have powdery white goodness? We're gonna add in some whipped cream cheese. Now, it's very important that it's whipped because it's gonna give us that amazing texture that we love. You have to have butter so it's creamy, thick, and good. That's an eighth cup of butter right there and I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh my gosh, everything is like white and yellow and fluffy. I think heaven might look like this. I'm not quite sure yet, obviously. This is the beginnings of goodness. One and three quarters cup milk. Two boxes of jello pudding. This is my Bill Cosby moment. Instant pudding. And I'm gonna whisk it for two minutes and then we're gonna let it stand for two minutes. We're gonna add our white mixture into our dark mixture and mix it up. Here we go. All right, darlings. Now it's getting really mixed up. Now we're gonna add our whipped cream. And this is very important how you mix it. I'm gonna put a nice sized dollop and then I'm just gonna fold because we wanna maintain that fluffiness. I'm gonna do another dollop. It's the delicate part. And take time to do this. You want to maintain that fluffy whipped cream texture. Fold it, and then you apply a little more force. And you mix it. Beautiful, but we still have the whipped cream fluffy. First thing, put in a layer of graham crackers. There we go. Now, we're gonna put gently and carefully a mixture. Then we're gonna pat it down with a spoon. I'm gonna add a layer of white fluffy whipped cream. Oh, it's gorgeous. Flatten that down. Add some slices of banana. This is like a layer cake, but fluffier. It's like a sundae, 
but more interesting. Flatten that down gently. Now this would make an incredible gift. Imagine putting a lid on this. Another layer of whipped cream. Top it off with bananas. Here we go. And who could resist a dirty monkey parfait? Welcome, Raphael. Welcome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. I'm so happy to be so here. Much. Oh my gosh. I'm a huge fan, by the way. You I think are? I'm your number one fan. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm a fan. Every time I see you, your your smile as you give the weather, it makes me smile. And I have lots of friends who are fans of yours as well. Oh, thank you. I have made for you blackberry prosecco. Ooh. This is the cocktail version and this is the popsicle version. We get two versions? Yes. Oh, I'm so lucky. I know. This is the the dirty monkey parfait. There's bananas and a chocolate pudding and butter and whipped cream and everything. So let's let's do a toast. Okay, there's so much here. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. You like it? Delicious. Much Refreshing. I mean, I just think that mimosas <laughs> are overused. I agree. And they should be replaced with more creative cocktails. Yeah, and this has more um, antioxidants, maybe? Yes, it does. Something good? You're right. And we should take a sample of the popsicle version. This is fabulous for summer parties. Now, which one has more alcohol in it? It's equal. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, this one has more alcohol in it. <laughs> Actually, it does. <laughs> Ooh, tastes that way. Mm -hmm. Now, this is our dirty monkey parfait. So just dig in. Just a light snack. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just a light snack. There's no butter in here, right? Mmm. None. <laughs> it's just about a pound. <laughs> it's so good. Raphael, you are the weatherman for NBC. Yes. And it's such an honor to have you here. How does somebody become a weather person? Well, weather was always my passion growing up. Really? Believe it or not. Really? Yeah, like when we got cable when I was 13, the Weather Channel was what I was most excited about. What do you find fascinating about it? Just the power of weather. Mm, like Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Watching the patterns and the cycles. How it affects everyone. You know, there's no escaping weather. It's like the great right. equalizer, which I love. It's true. We all have to deal with the heat together, the rain. Right the snow. And it affects our moods, especially yes. in New York. When it's hot, people get grumpy. When it's beautiful and cool, people are sunny. Yeah, I become the hero for the days yes. when it's like, yes, the weather's awesome. And then I try to hide when it's horrible, which is a lot. I really think your passion shows through because you just, you have like a, a little smile when you give the weather. And I, I really think it comes through. And that's why it, what makes <laughs> it such a pleasure to watch you. I got yelled at the other day during the heat wave because they were like, you were way too excited about that heat. <laughs> Raphael, and I was like, I was? I didn't realize, but I was, must have been like, it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> That's so cute. You're just like so excited to tell the world about the I patterns. Am. Now, this is what I think a lot of people wonder. Are weather anchors or weather people secretly excited when there's like a catastrophe, like a hurricane or anything, because it's like s such exciting news or? Well, a hurricane, that's scary and kind yeah. of bad news. So yeah. definitely not, especially after last year, Hurricane Irene. Yeah, that was scary. But a blizzard still gets my juices going. <laughs> I, I mean. I like blizzards too though, it, because. There's something about an approaching nor'easter that you just, I don't know. like. When I'm in my house, I run from window to window to see if it's snowing or not. I'm kind of like a cat pacing in the apartment. Um, you are so destined to be weatherman. This it, is really yeah. your calling, and that's beautiful. Well, when I was working in retail, instead of doing my job, I would be hiding on a computer tracking radar, usually. <laughs> so it kind of is fate that I actually do it for a living now. Wow, that is amazing. So how did you go from retail to weatherman? I actually sent an email to a weatherman that I used to watch when I was growing up, and I said, how can I become a weatherman? And he responded. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank that's you. Really great. And I know that you're out as, as gay, you're, you have a husband, you know, you, you know everything. Um, were you always out? Did you come out after you got your job at NBC? And you know, how does that work? I've always been out, but on TV, there's another level of coming out because you can come out publicly. Right. Like, you know, as we've just seen with Anderson, Anderson Cooper, Cooper. Yes, yeah. go Anderson, very happy for him. So I've been out since I was 19, but I had my TV coming out a few years ago when I was doing the weather because right before weather, there was a relationship segment. And when they were tossing to me, one of the anchors said, oh, Rafi, they call me Rafi, 
They said, how does this, how do you deal with this type of relationship issue? And I was like, well, my husband, blah, blah, blah. You know, that was my was chance. Was this planned or did no. you just do it? I didn't know the question was coming, but you know, I made the choice to be honest and talk about what was That's going so, on. That's such a brave choice. And, and what was the reaction both at work and publicly? You could hear a pin drop. It was kind of like, <gasps> what? But then everyone came up to me afterwards. Guys from the control room were like, good for you, Rafi. You know, it's so awesome. And I got a huge response online from people who had never seen that before and were just really you supportive. You right. actually did it the way in an ideal society, we would just say, oh, well, my husband, my wife, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's nothing different. And instead of hiding it, you know, it's so much easier just to be Ugh, who you are. Yes. And did you have any negative emails or any backlash at all? Or was it all positive? I, oddly enough, it was all positive, you know, mm -hmm. and it seems a little utopia to say that but it really was i didn't get any or none of the hate mail got to me anyway i didn't get any directly so yeah. if it's out there i didn't see it so uh it was a great response it's fantastic congratulations Thank and you. can i call you rafi now yes of course you should call me rafi <laughs> <laughs> well it's been such a joy to meet you i've never met somebody with a passion for weather and now when i look at the weather and i watch you on tv I'm gonna know that this really comes from true passion. Thank you so much for coming, Aww, Rafi. Oh, thanks for having me. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you so much. So thank you so much for watching to everybody. Check us out online. Write us, email, Facebook, Twitter. Make up your own recipes. You know, do these, add a twist, take a picture and share it with us. We'd love to hear you. How can people get in touch with you, Rafi? I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. And uh, tell me if I'm getting too excited about the next heat wave or blizzard, feel free to express that to me. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.